welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one has been asked for by so many of you, hailed as one of the greatest actors of the golden age of Mexican cinema, and also, he's a wonderful singer. So relaxing. Pasaste a mi lado con gran indiferencia. Tus ojos ni siquiera voltearon hacia mí. Es cosa de la blita. Te vi sin que me viera. Sin que me oyera y toda mi amargura se ahogó dentro de mí. It just has such ease. I love these little swells and his use of vibrato. Just beautiful the way he's kind of playing it like an instrument, his voice, rather than just singing it, whatever. It is in his kind of mid-range, but it is just, it's easy. It's relaxing. It's his phrasing, how he builds and kind of oozes into it. It's so romantic, isn't it? It's so Pedro wasn't just a singer, he was a musician as well. Apprenticed as a carpenter, he learned music from his dad and he played multiple instruments, including drums, piano and strings. And you can hear that kind of string-like tone, the phrasing that he's going for in his voice, the way that he attacks the music is, it's musicianship, it's not just singing however. I'm enjoying this little interlude. <laughs> Pasaste a mi lado con His vibrato is... So vibrato is a real good sign. It often means that the voice is really balanced, there's no tension in there, and you can hear that, it's so easy. So watch out for vibrato in your own voice, it's a real good sign. Those stops. Okay, I know I'm stopping quite a lot, but the breaks in the music are so important. When you don't sing is just as important as when you do sing, including the breaths, but that little pause 
just leaves you for a moment. It's a moment of anticipation before you fall into the next note. It's such a small moment, but it's so important. Y toda mi amargura se ahogó. So he became renowned for his voice when he was touring with his father's band, which was La Rabia. And he was also known for being wonderful and modest, and there's a story. Wait, I'm going to stop and tell you about this. There's this lovely story about when he was famous, he went into a restaurant and helped them with the washing up before he was served his own dinner, which, I mean, could you imagine that from any anyone, let alone a famous person today? You know the thing about mastering something in such an effortless way? Is that it actually takes a lot of work. <laughs> So he's got to a space with his voice that he has worked so hard beforehand that now the singing is easy, but in the first place that it does take repetition and doing exercises and just really learning how to play the instrument that is your voice and he's clearly done that. Now it's easy. Like how playing his guitar seems easy as well. <laughs> that was beautiful, timeless and effortless and just really romantic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.